Welcome, street rats, to Night City. I'm the one and only Mox11, bringing you slightly biased news footage from the fourth wall. Wraith has been heading along the coast, stopping in San Francisco before spending most of the tour performing in LA. From his text and garden updates, things appear to be going well for him. <laughs> so you get fucked up and um, addicted to to synth. Um, I guess since you get addicted to synth, would there the, the next question obviously is is there any other drugs? I would, once again, if I'm in front of fans, I would do prime time. Um, I will assume I did. Um, and uh, probably Smash. Oh, Smash. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I so, assume I did all three. All right. So you get fucked up. <clears throat> of course, Cammy sends him a text telling him it's my birthday, and he sends me a special message. All right. Who who am I? Am I like with any bands on that night? This would have been in Sacramento. Yeah, of course you are. Yes. All right. I'm gonna do the whole like phone out recording me and other people singing Happy Birthday. Okay. Like, try to get a whole bunch of people together to make a video of it and then nice. send it to her. Are you drunk at this point? Do I'm not. This is before I got addicted to coke, but I am definitely <laughs> drunk. <laughs> Then do a photo film. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, I'm a professional at photo film. All those points I put in it. Uh, is there photo film in this game? Yes. There's yes. Yeah. yes, there it's is. Under, uh, draw. It's under, um, it's under your yeah. tech skills. Close oh. to that. I see it. Uh, I'm going to spend two luck on this. Okay. <laughs> 15. 15. All right. It's not a bad. Yeah. But yeah. He surprisingly stays in frame through most of the. Uh, <laughs> most of it. I'm like, <laughs> most of the. <laughs> and only the, the, like parts when he intentionally means to like film the crowd Pants. behind him. All, yeah. all, all singing. Ha yeah. All singing happy birthday. I get like the whole venue in on it. Yep. Oh, nice. Just this <laughs> kind of like. <laughs> Uh, like the strobe light effect going on in the background with like laser lights shooting everywhere and <laughs> just this party of or uh, like this whole group of people just yelling at the top of their lungs happy birthday to you during his final week he ends up meeting up with a band savage or dead hanging out with mike and asking if he'd like to do a collaboration sometime oh uh, yeah that um uh, you were based out of where? I'm up in Night City, but, you know, I kind of move around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. That sounds great. Awesome. I'll head up to Night City one of these, uh, nights. And, cool. Uh, I'll, I'll get some studio time. Yeah. We'll make it work. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds... That sounds Nova hot. Yeah, Sweet. we'll make a big deal out of it. Promo the hell out of it. Damn right. Uh, it's too bad we got to head on. I'd say we could do it on this tour, but, um, you know, this is still just a teaser, a little tickling of the balls, you know? Yeah. yeah. We got to get the fans talking about it first. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right. That, sound, that sounds good. We'll come meet you up there. Um, all right. Just have like a, I don't know, a few weeks jam sesh or something. That sounds... Nova, man. Yeah. All right. Speaking of Night City, back at Frank's hovel, Rex gives us the deets of our next job. He needs backup picking up a shipment from the docks in Haywood Industrial. With that on the near horizon, I get my surgery from Pons, and Deeps and Checker spend the day working on the scales for Deeps' cyber arm. The Netrunner taking Checkers out for lunch to show his appreciation. During my downtime, I researched Simon Buckle to maybe take a different approach in my article and add to its credibility. I learned that he's on the take for numerous businesses in the Glen, including the Lantern, and that multiple charges have been laid against him, but nothing has stuck, making any future attempts to charge him for the same difficult. It's not what I was hoping for, but at least it's something. In the evening, we make our way back to the Burnt Out Arcade, intending to boost those couple arcade machines if the Tiger Claws are no longer present. 
Unfortunately, and to our annoyance, they're still around. I ask our runners to see if there's any cameras, and sure enough, Deeps finds three, as well as a drone, all of which link to some central location in the middle of the building. The cameras inform us they are refurbishing the interior, and Deeps counts at least three Tiger Claw guards and four regular construction workers inside. He also manages to find a file in the architecture, copying it to his deck just before Tiger Claw admin appears in the architecture with him. Another uh, icon enters the uh, network um, that was not there before. It is going to take a turn to try to figure out what this enemy netrunner is going to do in this net architecture. Okay. Uh, it easily beats a negative one. What? And How? Uh, its first net action is used to do that. The second is to come toward where you are located. Where is your sharpie? Here it is. Uh, zooms over to where you're no uh, you're activate or you're <laughs> not activated. Uh, where you are, and then uh, it, 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 it instantly puts a it hits you with a. Oh, I know what you're talking about here. I'm gonna hit you with a nerve scrub. Fair enough. So from the ball of green kind of sparkling energy, that this thing is a chrome ball uh, f uh, just bullets outward uh, smashing or well attempting to smash into you go ahead and roll your um, any defense that you have uh nine nine yep okay you are hit with this ball, a uh, chrome ball of sparkling energy. Uh, electricity just uh, rivets throughout your entire uh, body, uh, causing your whole um, body in meat space to kind of like seize and uh, fucked up. You take a minus five to your intelligence Ooh. reflexes and Dex. He's able to jack out safely, but can barely string a couple words together. I get Cammy and Checkers to get him out of there and into the cube apartments, hanging back to telling Tiger Claws that might come out that they went in different direction, as I don't feel all of them will make it out of sight before they're potentially caught. Sure enough, I'm questioned by a Tiger Claw named Ren, who I think believes my story, but ends up radioing my name and report to his boss, Mia Koto. Mia Koto. Does that name mean anything to me? Make a concentration check. Shit. I know who that is. I was going to say, is that is that the chick? The chick that's super pissed off at us? Um, 15? 15? Yeah. Hmm. You have a distinct memory of Mia Kato. She is the sister of the Tiger Claw Lieutenant that you killed in this very building. That's what I thought. Okay, cool. Oh. Mia apparently would like a word, and I'm left waiting for her as Cam McDeeps and Checkers not only get into the building, but Checkers has enough time to exit at the side and keep an eye on me in the situation from a few meters away, pretending to look at her agent. Mia merges, Katana in hand. And during our exchange, I learn that they know someone poked in the system and took their file. I managed to persuade her that I only saw some street punks run off across the street and into an alley. In the end, no blows are exchanged, and it seems, for now, we're in the clear. Eventually, we meet up at Frank's hovel, drinking until Deeps feels better, and heading back to his apartment to see what's on the file exactly. Turns out most of it contains ledgers, with purchases for office equipment and construction costs, but one file details plans to turn the building into an operation center for the Tiger Claws. A note somewhere stating something about it being a satellite location for chip distribution, but what that means, we don't know. Regardless, having one of their base of operations in our backyard doesn't sit well with us. The rest of the night, we try to come up with a strategy to stop them from creating a new den without tipping our hand that we were the ones who stole the file. 
Until then, stay safe, cyberpunks. This has been your Shades of Scarlet recap with Moxie11.